There he is. All I'm right. Get this out of the way. Today on Go Angling, I'm fishing with Connor Kleist. We're out here near Detroit Lakes, and we're going to share one of the most productive live bait techniques for walleyes midsummer that we know. So yeah. stick around. You're going to find today's little video very useful. I'm going to grab you the net. In-depth outdoors, go angling. Brought to you by Gander Outdoors. There he is. All I'm right. Get this out of the way. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Right kind? Yes, sir. I see gold. Nice fish. I see the gold. You know, these fish aren't supposed to bite midday. No. Calm conditions. No. Gotta like it when they do though, no complaints. They haven't read the rule books, that's all right. You know, you put a leech in front of them, yeah! Nice fish. Yes, there we go, that's what we're talking about. Fish and slip bobbers with bait. Could be a minnow, could be a leech, could be a crawler. Deadly, once you got the pattern together, once you got the presentation refined, for summer walleyes like this one. Once they leave the shallows, this is it. And that walleye got that hook right there in the beach. That's a number six VMC resin live bait hook. What I love about that is it's a glow resin bead that's built right into the hook. We'll talk about all the rigging in the videos that we link at the end of this segment. That's a nice fish. First fish of the day, in the boat and heading back. All right, successful release. So now here's the time period. Uh, Mid-June here in Minnesota, you know, it's been a little bit of a colder summer, but fish have left the shallows, you know, weeks ago. We're talking about temperatures right now at the surface that are about 70 degrees. And what happens is, you know, those early season walleye bites that are so strong and prevalent up in shallow water, you know, that five foot rock pile bite or that eight foot shoreline bite with the wind blowing in, those are pretty tough to come by right now. And these fish have slid out off those shoreline breaks and they're out where the weed line stops. So what we did is we kind of found a little position here. There's deep coontail on this lake, and that's a weed that'll grow out to you know, 15, 16, 17 foot of water. What we want to do is find an edge right where that coontail kind of transitions out. That's where we're targeting. Those fish, will, these walleyes will just cruise that weed line and fish in these slip bobbers. You put that leech down there, it's down there swimming. These fish are moving along that coontail edge. It's such an easy meal, they can't resist it. There we go. Well, Looks gave, good. I gave that one an extra split second. If it's a walleye, it's a good one. That's what I like to hear. As long as you let me catch a few today, I'll be all right. Guaranteed. You always <laughs> hold your own. You know how this stuff goes, it's streaky. It is, it is. What, you know, what always kind of throws me is you want to use as small a hook as possible. Yeah. So that leech is down there moving nice and natural. So I'm fishing a number six VMC with that glow resin bead on there, right? doesn't leave you a lot of hook gap. No. It's just by default. No. Come here. Do we get to keep them? Yes, we do. Nicely done. Yep. And you can sure. see if you, when, you, when we're done taking a look at this fish here, we're gonna take a look at the electronics. So you can see when we're talking about being off the edge of the weed line, you can just look down on that uh, fish finder there and you can see there's just no scrub under the boat. But when we swing from side to side, we'll start to hit the edges of that coontail. And that's really where you want to be. Boop. All right. Free and clear. See you later, fish. Man, that's a healthy fish. I think we're in for a good one. I think it's you know, going to be a good day. We were just talking that, you know, anything you catch middle of the day like this, we got a late start. Definitely not started. You know, we didn't start today at sunrise. Uh, we got to uh, Connor about 1 o'clock today, came right out on the lake. Anything we catch between now and about, you know, 5, 6 o'clock, those are, those are bonus fish. But it's also a great sign. It kind of indicates that the fish are in a good mood. They're, they're, they're feeding today. We get those light levels a little lower. We stay on spots like this. We could be in for an absolute crush fest come sundown. Looking forward to it. I like that. All righty. Is it the right flavor? Well, knowing my luck, probably not, but it feels pretty nice. You know, you do all right. He's ours. Every one of these fish is just quality. I mean, they're not huge, but there's no runts either. No, no. Healthy. Yes. Built nice and we'll get her back. 
swimming on the day? Yep. So when you're picking a leech, you got a tub like this and you're looking down in there. Uh, it's really easy to go for that great big giant leech. Everybody kind of, you know, focuses on, on the, you know, the jumbo leech. And what I'm looking for is, you know, I like a, a larger leech myself, but uh, what I really like to see is one that's, uh, you know, a little bit thinner. I don't like the big fat blobby ones, but I want one that's just swimming away hard in the dish. Pick that leech, because what he's doing in that dish, he'll probably do for you under the water. And that's what it takes to get bit. Those walleye see that uh, bait down there, it's really swimming hard they'll eat that bait versus you know one of these other ones in the bottom of the dish that are hardly moving oh i got another one going this is getting crazy some shoulders behind that one i hope so got my little drag a little light from that last one had to grip the spool you know one of the things you'll notice is that both uh, connor and i are fishing longer spinning rods today and what's great about those long spinning rods this one's a seven foot four akuma dead eye custom medium light uh, it allows you to pick up a lot of that line when those fish dump that bobber and you've got some bow in your line. It allows you to get the line up off the water without really moving the a lot, bobber a lot. Fish can feel that. And then, because we're fishing pretty light line and small hooks, these soft, long rods helping landing these fish. You really can't horse on them too much. Man, are these things just, they're Healthy. great looking fish. Well, that fish went after it. Nothing like a lively leech to get a walleye's attention. Come out nice and easy. They are just woofing those leeches right now. I mean, I kind of got myself rearranged here after that last fish. The bobber we just went toosh, back down again. Oh, Connor, you're always on something pretty special, bud. Glad really, you're having fun. No, it's, it's a good time. It's hard not to. It really is. There's a lot of pressure over here. I mean, you look around, it's just houses and cabins and public access is on every corner of the lake. And I'm going. Do it. How long did that take after you switched over to that hook? Not very long. Tell me little things don't matter. They do. <laughs> when you're finesse fishing like this, absolutely. Everything matters. That's a nice wallet. Very nice fish. Come here, you. Oop. It saw the net and said, heck no. Yeah. Oh, here you. Can't get away from oh, that that's time. That's a nice one. Very nice fish. And you really don't have to give them very long. When you no. see that bobber go, I'd rather take it too early. Look at that. Heck Popped yeah. right out. I'd rather take it too early than have to cut the line and waste of fish. But very nice fish. and we'll Every one of them is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, even this one here with a few little uh, warts on it. We love them all. So just a real basic setup. This is a, you know, a, a VMC. It's a lighted slip bobber. We can actually turn that the light on in that if we're going to stay out uh, around dark. And then below that, uh, we've got a, uh, um, um, a barrel sinker, an egg sinker. That's one eighth of an ounce. And then right below that, we've got a swivel. And what I like to use that swivel for is, this becomes kind of our replaceable section of mono. If you catch a pike, if it gets nicked up, it's real easy to replace. It's about an 18 inch long piece. I can replace it and not have to recheck my depth. And I always like using you know, a fairly heavy sinker. You think eighth of an ounce, why are, you, why are you using so much weight? Just put on a couple small split shots. It gets the bait down there quick. Below the sinker and between the hook, that's what gives that leech the freedom to swim down there. I just don't want that uh, a leech to take a long time to pull that bobber down and get it upright and down to those fish. I wanted to get it down there fast. So just a real basic setup and here's that hook. Not very big, not a lot of hook gap there, but that's really what you need to do to make sure that that leech is swimming real freely down there. If you throw a great big chub hook on there, they hardly move at all. So it's a sacrifice. You don't have a lot of hook cap, but that leech is gonna be a lot more seductive in the water. There you go. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm just impressed with how good and steady this bite has been all day long. Yeah. That little, VMC Glow Resin Treble. Just gonna yeah. take it. Excuse me, Glow Resin Octopus. We use the trebles no there. Back you go. Ah, little fish. Nice. Ready? Yep. Bring it. Nice. There we go. Is it the right, right kind? I don't want to jinx it, but I think so. All right, Mr. Kleiss, you need to close this thing out. We, we've been talking about staying out here till dark all day, but these videos are supposed to be short. I know. We got it's way tough. too many fish, so <laughs> I'll get the net. Let's end this thing. It's the right kind. Very nice fish. Oh, yeah. Right here. 
I'm gonna call you Clutch. It's <laughs> a good name to have. Yeah, there's a lot worse, right? There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. You bet. Settle down there, buddy. That's a nice long one. A fun day. Put her there. Slimy Abs high fives. Absolute <laughs> thumping during some tough conditions. Yeah. You know, if you need a reason to, you know, use this technique, be reminded to use it if it's something you've done in the past, or, you know, just add it to the arsenal, just seeing what a guy can do under, this is horrible walleye conditions in a lake with great clarity. Uh, if you're looking to get out here with this guy, he's a ton of fun. He absolutely knows what he's doing out here. Uh, look him up on Facebook. He'll show you the ropes. If you want to learn how to do this or, you know, just about anything out here in the anything Detroit Lakes, he'll set you straight. So awesome. thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button uh, for In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Absolutely. Good work. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.